Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundCloud Studios. Visit online at soundcloudstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundCloud Studios is the answer. SoundCloud Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundcloudstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews, and Eve Eleven enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, Eminence. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com <coughs> on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Also heard on HamiltonRadio.net, Oldies FM, Diamonds Radio, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear, and more. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson's Yeah. For great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also T-shirts, pop sockets hoodies, and phone cases, and more, amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Weiner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewagnershow.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com for the Mike Weiner Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with an amazing gentleman who's the owner of Chemical Free Body and Health Hero from Oregon. He's suffered num numerous health issues, including rectal bleeding, skin issues, chronic acid indigestion, surgery, and watch some um, one of his friends uh, died of cancer, and he founded the organization to help um, ignite the highest excitement uh, in life and rescue one gut at a time. And he also um, teaches the daily detox and the three ingredients you should never consume when taking supplements. Eat lower on the food chain and listen to your gut and how to raise healthy children. We'll find out more about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in the Health Hero Studios, here is the health hero himself, the owner of Chemical Free Body and Health Hero, from Oregon, ladies and gentlemen, Tim James. Tim James. Tim, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Mike, thanks for having me on the show, brother. I appreciate you. Well, it's great to have you on board, Tim. So you're the owner of Chemical Free Body and Health Hero from Oregon, and you suffer numer numerous health issues, including rectal bleeding, skin issues, chronic acid, indigestion, surgery, and um, you watch one of your friends die of cancer, and you found the organization to help one gut at a time. And um, also ignite the highest excitement level in life, uh, rescuing one gut at a time. And you also teach a daily detox and the three ingredients you should never consume when taking supplements. Also eating lower on the food chain and listening to your gut and how to raise healthy children as well. And before getting all that, Tim, tell us how I first got started. What was that? I'm sorry. Tell us how you first got started. Oh, well, you know, um, I, I actually grew up on, I'm actually back on the farm now. I grew up in Eastern Oregon on a cattle and hay farm, uh, was on the standard American diet, played baseball for 30 years. I was out in nature and all that stuff. But by the time I was 37, um, I, my health, I was 42 pounds overweight. Uh, like I said, I was bleeding rectally. Um, I had acid reflux really bad, eating Tums and Rolates 24 seven. My energy was down. I was really mental fog. Um, and then on a plane, uh, well, a trip down to Northern Peru with my wife and I met up with her dad down there and we were in this remote area called Tumbes, right south of Ecuador. And I was doubled over in pain on a fishing trip out into the sea. And they were like, oh, you got motion sickness. I'm like, no, I, I hunt and I fish all the time. I've never had this before. And her dad diagnosed me, said, we got to get you to hospital. And um, unfortunately, we missed the one plane flight out of this very remote area per day by 20 minutes. So he said, we can't wait or I could die. So we rented a van. We drove six hours down the coastline of Peru to a town called Piora. I went to a hospital there. They examined me. And... Um, it was pretty, it was crazy because it was like super third world, dude. I, there was like bugs flying around in the lamp at the examination room. And the, you could see the, the scalpels on that stuff looked like from the fifties. It was kind of old school. 
he didn't want him to operate there. He wanted to, her dad wanted to operate on me at his hospital because he had a state-of-the-art hospital in Lima that he ran. And so he organized it. They doped me up, put me on a commercial plane flight, flew me to Lima, and I went right into surgery out of a taxi cab. And I spent the rest of my um, my vacation basically recovering in that hospital. I learned two important lessons. Number one is that I don't ever want to get surgery again. I was going to try to figure out how to take care of my health. I just didn't know what I was doing. And then number two, that my poor health doesn't affect just me. It affects everybody else around me. So then I came back um, um, and then I lost a buddy of mine to my baseball team to cancer, Clay Mahoy. He, uh, he died of stomach cancer, did chemo, surgery, radiation, left three little boys behind. And then after that, my uh, um, buddy Charles at age 43 got diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, which is supposedly this incurable blood cancer at the time when we were there in 2011 or 10. And then 2011, January 1st, we flew to Hippocrates Health Institute. My buddy wanted to try to heal naturally and he found this place. Uh, it's like a natural, you know, detox nutrition clinic. And that's where my journey began. And I started learning about how to detox the gut. And I, I learned that the average person's carrying around about six to 12 pounds of impacted fecal material in the colon. Oh and this is housing and protecting viruses and bacteria and mold and yeast and fungus and parasites and mutagens. And uh, we want to get that stuff out. And so I attended the first class there called an internal awareness and they educated us all this stuff. And they were trying to sell us on doing um, colon hydrotherapy or clonics. Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of it, but I'd love to hear more about it. Okay. So I didn't know about it either. So I'll tell the listeners. So colon hydrotherapy or clonic is basically you sit on a tube rectally and water goes gently in and out of your colon for an hour and it cleans up that junk and funk and gunk that's in there. And, um, it's kind of a smart thing to do, but you know, this was all new to me and I was kind of overwhelmed, you know, the first place there was no meat at this place. And I was a redneck hunter. Um, I probably would have never set place in that uh, my foot in that place if it wasn't for my buddy wanting to go there but um you know what happened was is that the doctor was smart he showed virtual colonoscopies of four people three that were unhealthy on the standard american diet and one that had been through their program that was healthy the first one was a 24 year old female that had hashimoto's which is like a thyroid issue and she had thrush which is a yeast infection and inside of her colon it was all white and yellow and weird and then the second person was a 65 year old male with colon cancer and parasites mm. inside of his colon was all black like tar and there was like these little white worms crawling around and i was just like oh i could feel my skin you know crawling i was like oh god the doctor turned around and looked at everybody and said look you guys think that this parasite thing is a third world fair far from it i guarantee you that over 50 percent of you are going to see visibly see these parasites coming out of you as you go through our hippocrates life change program uh, but he said, there's other parasites that you can't see, not just the hookworms, the pinworms and the tapeworms that you see in the stools that are coming out of you and stuff like that, but microscopic ones that, and they're all, they're in your blood, they're fat muscle tissue, and they're all drinking your drinks, eating your food, and then they're urinating and defecating in you and having sex and laying thousands of eggs. And now I'm just like thinking, whoa, you know, now he's, I'm freaked out. And then the next one was a six, a 45 year old female with breast cancer, and then her she had like colitis or Crohn's disease, something like her gut was jacked up and inside her colon was all black and nasty. And, and then they went to the healthy person's colon and yeah, there's brown waste matter coming out because it's supposed to be a waste removal system. Right. But it's not supposed to be a storage tank, but her, the lining of her colon was all pink and clean and red blood vessels. And you could see it. My point was, is that was the, that was the light bulb went off in my head that it's an inside job. Right. That if no wonder I had skin issues because my gut, was messed up so for people like me that had eczema or psoriasis or you got rash this kind of stuff you have gut issues and so you can't just like treat it topically on the skin all the time and think you're going to fix it it's 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 coming from inside so i signed up and got the colon hydrotherapy thing i went the next day they weighed me i did it for an hour they weighed me again i dropped 10 pounds mike wow. of impacted fecal material in a, a one hour session um we stuck with the lifestyle um i came back from there and like I don't know, maybe like 60 days, I dropped 42 pounds. My energy wow. skyrocketed two and a half years. My friend had healed himself. He's completely cancer free. And he's, it's been, you know, 11 years now. Um, and I just played guitar with him. He's happy. He's got a new business. I was able to see his son graduate high school and go to father son weekend. And, and I got my friend, you know, so um, I learned all about this stuff and I, and I became very passionate about it. I've had over 5,500 people to my home for detox, nutrition, uh, juicing, like living food dinner classes. And, and then we, I started the, my company, Chemical Free Body, and now we 
we teach pit it's all about awareness and education and inspiring people through you know real world results and then i hired dr scott treadway i got a formulator and we actually formulate really high quality detox and nutrition products and we ship worldwide so that's what we're all about we're really an educational platform and we supply people with some of the toolkit um with our products and then the rest of them we point them direct to them so that's kind of what, what i've been up to Mm -hmm. And that's rather interesting as well, too. We'll talk about some of the things, the mystery meat nobody wants to tell you about. And what are the three ingredients they should never consume? We'll find out just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews in Eve 11 and George by Howard's celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms, heard in over 100 countries, and take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia for great books and merchandise and more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM. Hey, pal, the Mike Widener Show.com. You can buy me a copy at buymeacopy.com at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with the amazing Tim James, owner of Chemical Free Body and uh, Health Hero from Oregon here on the Mike Widener Show. Also has a Health Hero podcast as well, too. And what are the th three ingredients you should never consume when you're taking supplements? Well, Tim's going to tell you. And what are those three uh, ingredients that you never consume? Well, you know, when I got back from Hippocrates, Mike, I became a label reader on the food that I was eating. And I was uh, quite shocked to find out what's actually in most of the food today in our grocery stores. Like you can't like 80. What I found out is that in a really good, healthy grocery store, 85 percent of the food is literally you shouldn't eat it. Like it's just that it, you shouldn't put that stuff in your body. So when I a couple of years later, I got into targeted supplementation because I, I learned that 85 percent of the nutrients are farmed out of our soil. and We need to replace that. So I started looking in these whole food supplement companies. Um, First off, what I found out was that 92% of the supplements on the market are made of pure synthetics. These are acid-based synthetics made in a laboratory. Our bodies are carbon-based. So we need carbon-based supplements, not acid-based. Only 8% are carbon-based. So, but what's happened is, is that it's, it's gotten even worse is that now what they'll do is if you look at, and I'll just kind of teach people how to read a label here really quick. Let's say you have a multivitamin type formula. And it's got something in it really good like protease, which is an, 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 an enzyme, right? Or it has uh, lactobacillus acidophilus, which is a, you know, um, a probiotic or a bacteria, a good bacteria for your gut. Well, that's great. But if you look under, like, let's say vitamin C and behind it in parentheses, if it says ascorbic acid, that's a synthetic. It should say from the amla berry or from the arceola cherry or from the camu camu berry. So now they have these blends where you might have something good. But then you got some synthetic mixed in with it too, right? So you got to be careful of that. But it gets worse. You have to look at these other ingredients because those other ingredients are also ingredients. Now, typically, these are things like you'll see, you know, veggie cap or micro crystalline cellulose, which is just some plant material, right? Um, but what they're doing is, is they're putting these things and they're called excipients. So let me explain. An excipient could be a binder, a filler, or a flow agent. A binder might hold a tablet together with raw materials. A filler would just fill up a capsule because when you put synthetics in a capsule, a lot of times they don't take up a lot of room. So Americans are not going to buy like an empty capsule. They get pissed and want a refund. So they fill them up with something or they'll use these things called flow agents. This isn't for our health. This is for the encapsulation companies' machines to make sure the raw materials don't cake up their machines for fast production. So these three of the top ones, there's more of them, but the three top ones are magnesium stearate, 
silicon dioxide and dicalcium phosphate. So I want everybody to start, go check your labels tonight. And mag magnesium stearate can come from diseased cow hides that could have, they could have fed the cows GMO corn, GMO soy, um, and it actually blocks absorption of nutrients and digestion. So why would you take something that blocks something that you're trying to take to absorb? It's kind of counterintuitive. Silicon dioxide, let's go to that one. It's a level three toxin on the EPA's toxin list, yet it's allowed in most supplements, right? And then dicalcium phosphate. So all these things are, they're, they're not good. So the way I look at them is like, you have a, your mom's got a state champion brownie recipe and she just won state. Now she's going to national finals for the county fair, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, but she decides to put a little cat poop in it. No, are you going to eat that yeah. recipe? You're not going to eat it. So the, 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 these, these binders, fillers, and flow agents that are not healthy, these like magnesium stearate, silicon dioxide, dicalcium phosphate, these are the cat poop in the supplement industry. And most people just don't have the awareness about them that, so they don't know, right? But that's what my mission is, is to give people awareness because then they can make a choice and they can start picking up products that are actually good for them and good for the planet. Mm -hmm. he, he also talked about as well too, you talked about the cowhide and everything and also the mystery meat. And uh, what's the thing that nobody tells you and most people don't want to know about when it comes to meat? Well, you know, growing up redneck, um, harvesting lots of animals, deer, elk, chuckers, pheasants, I literally had, I used to gut out animals. So it's like, it's not like I'm somebody from the outside looking in. Um, we used to have people harvest them. So as well, when I had a meat guy would come out and harvest our cows for us. So we took very good care of them. You know, we weren't feeding them a bunch of crap or shooting them up with antibiotics. So here's the problem in the meat industry. Number one, animals are supposed to be out free ranging, free grazing, doing their thing like that. A lot of times they're kept in these pens. And um, then they end up, you know, if they're not walking around free and then, then they just poop in a small area and all of a sudden they're walking around in urine and feces. This is where actually E. coli and salmonella gets bred because it's just too many animals in too small of a space. It's kind of like the city. Like you go to Portland, Oregon and it's like Tentville, there's urine, there's feces, there's needles, there's masks, there's everything all over. There's too many people in a small, they don't have the infrastructure to clean it up, right? They're not doing it. So when that happens, then disease comes in. That's just how it works. It's like, you don't take out the trash. Eventually, you, you know, the bugs are going to be flying around your house. You got to keep taking the, the garbage out because you put scraps in there and the bugs come in. So remove the garbage, the bugs go away. And it's, it's kind of the, you know, the same thing um, uh, with the human body. So we, we want to, we definitely want to, um, we definitely want to clean that up. Mm. So go ahead. No, no, I was going to say too, that uh, it's important to clean up as well too. And um you know, having that, but also, you know, say what comes to me, it's like, you think you're eating healthy, but then you also uh, get naturally happy, you know, on the lower food chain, you know, think of lower food chain, you think of like, you know, the McDonald's fast food or, you know, you know, you know, stuff like that, just garbage, like eating healthy on the lower food chain. And, um, you know, tell us about that. Why? Well, let me finish up on the other one. I'll be quick. So what you want to look out for is also when you're buying meat, look out for nitrates and nitrites, because they put those in there for coloring. Because if not, if you walked into a grocery store, 40% of the meat would be gray in color. Would you buy that? Probably no. not. So nitrates and nitrites, look out for antibiotics, hormones, and that kind of stuff. Now, eating lower in the food chain is very simple. It's your nuts, beans, seeds, grains, root vegetables, these types of things. They don't cost that much. And you can buy them in bulk. So it's good for preparedness. If you're worried about supply chain delays, which in this economic climate, probably be a good idea to learn how to eat lower in the food chain. And what you're going to find out is the people that eat lower in the food chain are going to be the healthiest. If you go back to the 1500s, the kings that were getting the sugars and the greasy foods and the big cooked turkeys and all this stuff all the time, they're the ones that were fat and overweight and had all these health issues. The peasants were the healthiest people because they were out in the sunshine, they were working, they were moving their bodies, and they were eating lower in the food chain. Mm, that's rather interesting too. And it can also um, do this by raising healthy children as well too. And what's the best advice out there to raise healthy children? Well, I think the best thing that you can do to raise healthy children is put yourself first and lead by example, right? If mama bear shows baby bear how to eat in the woods, like there's some huckleberries over here in the fall and there's some salmon running over here and watch out for big, big daddy bear over there. And so leading by example, and so many of us, especially parents and moms, especially are taking care of everybody else and putting themselves last and then a wheel falls off and then they can't take care of anybody. Then they go into a broken medical system. So, you know, for me, it's like putting yourself first and, you know, creating a healthy environment, making sure that you have really clean, fresh air in your home and you're cracking your windows and you're purifying your house because homes are, uh, we're actually shooting a documentary on building a chemical free home. I'm in the middle of that right now to show people how toxic the homes are. 
um, making sure that your water is your input, like your water to your body's right, making sure your kids have good uh, uh, dark rooms to sleep in, good quality beds. Um, they're not looking at screens like laptops and computers at least an hour before they go to bed. You know, sleep is very important. And then, you know, eating lower in the food chain, spending time with the family, not just running around, you eat that, and you eat that and you take off, like setting down like a family, turning off the cell phones and connecting. Important as well, too. And, um, and when you're eating, what, what does the gut usually tell you as well, too? It's like you're always important to listen to your gut and uh, you eat good, eat bad. What does the gut usually tell you? Well, a lot of people aren't really paying attention to the gut or anything when it comes to their body. You know, your body is giving you signals all the time. I call them check body lights. So if you're overweight, that's a signal that you're off course. Um, if you're on medications, that's another signal. If you're tired like I was or had skin issues, eczema, or you have gas and bloating, something's up with your system. And it's telling you, these are signals saying, hey, you need to change the environment. You need to change the input, right? So the engineers out there understand that there's input, output, transport, conversion, and storage in the middle. And if you have an intelligent system, you have a controller, you have a goal, and you have these things called disturbances. And so you're always having to move and change things. So when you come, when it comes down to your gut, like listen to it. Like if, if you're not having good bowel movements, if you have gas, if you have bloating, if you have pain in there, then you need to pay attention to it. Don't be like me and just stick your head in the sand and just keep going through life and hoping it's going to fix itself. It's, it's kind of silly. You got to get smart about this. Step one is clean up the gut. And then step two is start recolonizing the good bacteria and building it up. And then step three is putting good inputs into it, good healthy food, chewing your food well, making sure it's very liquefied when you eat it, avoiding liquids with meals. So you're not diluting those digestive enzymes you just produced in your mouth that went into the food that are going to digest your food. So you can get good digestion and simulation of nutrients. And a third thing you can do is do some breath work, some deep, long breaths for a minute or two before you eat to calm the nervous system and bring the blood from the extremities back into the organ system so you can digest your food properly. Mm -hmm. And that's very important to know, too. And uh, Tim Balls has a podcast called The Health Hero Show. And if you want more tips, you can uh, listen. We'll find out how we can do that. You listen to The Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundCloud Studios. Visit online at soundcraftstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, The Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the owner of Chemical Free Body and The Health Hero Podcast, Morgan, Tim James, after this timeout. We're back with the owner of Chemical Free Body, Tim James, here on the Mike Wagner Show. And if you want more information, Tim, you also got a uh, podcast called The Health Hero Show. And uh, tell us more about that. Well, I started that because we're a coaching company. Um, I actually hired a coach and he told me if I was really wanted to be successful, I should stop coaching and just, you know, sell our products. And I just can't do it because people need help, right? They need the information, you need the awareness, you need, people need to be edu educated. If you don't have education and then you don't act on it, you're kind of like stuck. So the Health Hero Show is a podcast designed to give people a toolkit for free that they can learn and then they can apply things to their life. So I, I went deep onto like proper food combining. I went into intermittent fasting. I go into like how increasing, you know, by sprouting, you can increase your nutrition up to 800%. Wow. You know, 60% of the food I eat is sprouts that I grow at home. These micro gardens that are like amazing, like 30, 40, 50 times more nutritious and fresh picked vegetables out of your best garden with the best soil, the sprouts. Um, I've had people on like um, episode 61. I had a guy on that um, it blew my mind. They, they actually broke a natural law with this new infrared sauna technology. Wow. Um, so I had gastro girl. She's done over 20,000 colon hydrotherapies. We talked about that earlier. That dispels all the myths for anybody out there. If you're thinking, oh, I, I, I go online. I think colon hydrotherapy is going to kill me. Listen to episode 38. So had some great guests. It's all about education. It's free education or for just a place for people to kind of meet me and, and, you know, get to know me better because, you know, people are kind of, you know, there's a lot of scammers out there. So I'm just a real person. I'm just kind of a redneck that kind of got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I got lucky. I fell into all this stuff and I feel better than I felt. I mean, I'm dude, I'll be 49, like in two days. And oh, happy birthday in advance. Yeah. Yeah, brother. And I'm like, I'm running around I'm trail running twice a week, two, three, four, five, six, seven miles, um, bicycling, running. I mean, it's just yoga. I feel better today. I feel like I'm literally getting younger every year. So my mission in life is just like, feel good, wake up, feel good, get as young as I can, feel as good as I can, be as healthy as I can, and then just share it with other people so they can, you know, just try out what I, what I tried that worked for me. Okay. And where can we get more information about Chemical Free Body and about your podcast? Where can we get more information about you? 
uh, that's at chemicalfreebody.com. That's chemicalfreebody.com. And if uh, the, the podcast link is there, my podcast, The Health Hero Show is on all major platforms. And we actually made a, a discount code, Mike Wagner, you get 5% off at checkout. So if, if you're interested in products, you want to try our stuff out, I'd probably just go to the shop tab, scroll down to savings bundles, you can get a discount there. Do like a jumpstart bundle or like a total energy detox bundle or somewhere in between that fits with you. And then put Mike's code in, you get a double discount, Mike Wagner. And then we have a double your money back guarantee, Mike, on all of our products. So we're pretty confident in if, if something doesn't work, just call us up. We'll put you on the phone with myself or another coach. We'll kind of find another tool for you if that one didn't work in your toolkit. We will certainly do so as well. Once again, we're Tim James, the owner of Chemical Free Body and uh, Health Hero on the Mike Wagner Show. Tim, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. And once again, um, upcoming projects. Tell us about uh, how can we reach you in your podcast and uh, how do we get a hold of you and uh, more information about you? Well, it's all on the website, Mike. Just go to chemicalfreebody.com and it's all there, brother. Sounds good. Okay, Tim, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. And we wish you all best. Stay healthy and um, you got a great future out of you. Thanks, brother.